Hello everyone, Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrows. Join me while I do my favorite thing, making a shabby chic home decor using my favorite things, shabby chic rice paper, some vintage doily, and some bling. All right, so I'm starting off with a wooden frame that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can find these in the um, unfinished wood section. Um, remember, get them when they're 40% off every other week. <laughs> and I'm just taking a coat of white paint and applying it to the wood. Now, remember when you're doing decoupage, it's always good to put a coat of some kind of a white paint on your project because it just makes your papers stand out more. It makes them pop. You usually only need one coat unless you have some writing on there then you want to cover up. But one coat is usually good to go when you're for when you're placing down your um, decoupage paper. Now today I'm using decoupage queens rice paper and it is shabby chic. It's so pretty. It's called lace elegance. Isn't it beautiful? Look at those roses, the writing on there. It just um, it's right up my alley. All right, so now I'm putting it on the frame and look at that. You can see the frame right through there. So I can see exactly where I want the placement of the rice paper on my on my frame. All right, so nothing fancy. I'm just going to score it out with my fingers just like so if you can see what I'm doing. And what that's going to do is going to give it a mark on the back of it so I know where to cut it. So just score it out with your fingers just like that and it's going to be fine. You'll be able to see the score marks when I flip it upside down. See there? There you go. You can see the score marks. Now when I do cut it, I make sure I cut it a little bit bigger than the score marks only because it's easier to sand the excess off if, if there's any than to have to add decoupage paper to your project. So just go a little tad larger then the score marks and you should be absolutely fine. All right, so now we are going to lay our paper down. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna use my favorite decoupage uh, medium, which is Paint Couture's decoupage medium. And this one's in matte. It also comes in shine, which is like a satin finish. But for today, I'm using the matte. Now another, um, Tip of mine is when you're applying your decoupage medium, use a thin coat. You do not need a lot of product to um, have your paper adhere. The more product that you have on there, it's the it, it's not going to lay as nice if um if you if you get my drift. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So a thin coat of decoupage medium, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm placing it on there. And then once I got it where I want it, I'm just going to smooth it out with my fingers and attach it right to the board. There we go. So now what I did was I didn't show you on the camera, but I did dry my decoupage paper onto my, um, onto my frame. Because when you're cutting your um, paper, if it's wet, it's going to tear instead of giving you a nice cut. So I am just, just took a box cutter and I'm cutting around the frame just like so. And then um, once I do it with the box cutter, it'll tear real nice and easy for me. But just make sure that your paper is dry um, on, on your frame before you decide that you want to do this because you, you have a chance of tearing the paper instead of giving it, getting a nice clean cut line as you're get as I'm getting right here. So there we go. Now don't throw that piece out. That's a great piece for another project. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just taking the inside of my frame and putting a coat of the Pink Couture decoupage medium down just so the the paper will not come off the sides of the inside of the frame. There we go. Just like so. Isn't that pretty? Even without nothing inside, it's gorgeous. All right. So let's get the inside done. All right, so that's the inside of the frame that we took out before. Now I'm just taking a vintage doily that I got at one of my favorite antique stores in town. And we're just putting it on there. And we're just going to glue it on. That is all. I'm just taking my glue gun. And I'm just going to glue it right onto that backing that was already on the frame. Now, I'm, if it wasn't white, I would have painted it white. But the backing was white, so it was working out perfect. So just be careful when you're gluing anything that you're gluing a doily or anything with lace because the glue comes through and you can really burn your fingers. So that's another tip. Make sure when you're gluing, you want to use one of those silicone um, 
things that I have there right there. And so you do not burn your fingers because the glue will come right through. All right, so once we got that down, look at that. Look how pretty that looks. The lace on there, that looks gorgeous. All right, so now we're just gonna attach it back onto the backing of the frame, just like that. And then we're gonna add a little bling. The bling I'm using today is from Totally Dazzled. Look how pretty that looks. And it's from Totally Dazzled. And sometimes when you get Totally Dazzled, it comes in a brooch. And that is a brooch, so it's a pin. It's, so there, I don't have to glue it on there. All I have to do is um, attach it with the bit, a pin that is on the back of it. If you didn't have a brooch that is, or a pin or and you had some kind of a bling all you have to do is just glue it on with your um with your just with some glue and that would be fine also so this is going to be so pretty for some home decor with just a frame that i got from hobby lobby some beautiful decoupage paper bling and some antique lace i hope you enjoyed this video if you did if you would like to like and subscribe i would love to have you come back Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And if you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much.